Vernon was inspired many, many years ago as both a method to eliminate spawn camping and open up the gameplay to just a lot more variety. So with Burning, we really wanted to give players control by allowing them to spawn in wherever they wanted to. They could set up their own situations. If they didn't like a situation, they could simply drop into a different part of the map with different terrain features or assault a different point. We also have a button called a Squad Spawn. And when you click that button, the game drops you with the other players. If you're in a squad, you and your buddies might want to drop in formation together. This way, you really make an impact. You can burn in like a missile all the way to the ground, and you slam in. Go in, and if you nail a guy on the way down, even better. The loadouts and the customization, really, to me, that's the flexibility. That's the flexible part. We strongly encourage you to play the way you want to play. If you want a shotgun and you want a sniper rifle, pick a shotgun and a sniper rifle. The player can customize his loadout or switch between different loadout presets on the fly whenever he wants. So whether you've just died and you're getting ready to respawn into the game, you could choose your loadout there. But you also have access to supply depots on the battlefield, and you could quickly change your loadout on the fly to respond to a new tactical threat that uh, has just emerged in front of you. The jetpack does allow you to, obviously, it propels you up, but um, it gives you a little bit of control in the air as well. So you can kind of maneuver onto ledges or into spaces that you want to for protection or, you know, to, to find a nice little spot to do some sniping and such. Now, jetpack gets utilized pretty heavily just about everywhere. It's an escape tool. Sometimes it's an offensive tool. You can literally get the drop on someone by sneaking up on them with it. If you pair up being in overdrive mode and then blast your jetpack, you're actually able to get on top of large buildings and rock formations that you otherwise wouldn't have access to if you didn't pair those two together. It might take you a while before you really get to play all the different weapons, try out all the different strategies, and I think it really keeps the game fresh. I think the fans should look forward to a game that reinvigorates the FPS genre.